for fun, let's try to approximate the area under the curve y is equal to the square root, the principal root of x minus 1, between x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 6. So I want to find this entire area, or I want to at least approximate this entire area. And the way I'll do it, the way I'll do it is by setting up five trapezoids of equal width. So this will be the starting the, the left boundary of the first trapezoid. This will be its right boundary, which will also be the left boundary of the second trapezoid. This will be the right boundary of the second trapezoid. This is the right boundary of the third trapezoid. This will be the right boundary of the fourth trapezoid. And then finally, this will be the right boundary of the fifth trapezoid. And since we're traveling, we're going from 1 to 6, so we're traveling 6 minus 1 in the x direction, and I want to split it into five sections, the width of each trapezoid is just going to be equal to 1. And so if we say that the width of a trapezoid is delta x, we just can now say that delta x is equal to 1. So let's set up our trapezoids. So the first trapezoid is going to look like is going to look like that. It's going to go like that. Actually, it's going to be a triangle, not really a trapezoid. And then the second trapezoid is going to look like this. I guess you could say a trapezoid where one of the sides has length zero turns into a triangle. Then this the third trapezoid is going to look like this. And then the fourth trapezoid is going to look like that. And then finally, you have the fifth trapezoid. So let's calculate the area of each of these, and then we will have our approximation for the area under the curve. So let's do trapezoid, or I really should say triangle, this first shape, whatever you want to call it. What is the area of that going to be? Well, the area of a trapezoid, and you'll see this will just, this will just turn into the area of a triangle, it's the average of the heights of the two sides of the trapezoid, the way we've looked at it. Or you could say the average of the heights of the two parallel sides, I guess is the best way to say it. So f of 1, that's the height here, plus f of 2, plus f of 2, all of that over 2. And then we're going to multiply it times our delta x. We're going to multiply it times our delta x. Actually, let me do that in that same red color to show you that this is the area of that first trapezoid, of that first trapezoid. So times delta x. And as you see right over here, if you, if you look at it, the f of 1 is just going to be 0. So you're going to have f of 2 times, so it's going to be that this height times this base times 1 half, which, does, which is just the area of a triangle. But let's look at the second trapezoid, trapezoid 2. Right over here, what is its area going to be? Well, it's going to be f of 2. It's going to be f of 2 plus f of 3. f of 2 is this height. f of 3 is this height. So we're taking the average of those two heights divided by 2. That's the average of those two heights times the base, times delta x. And then let's do trapezoid 3. I think you're getting the idea here. Trapezoid 3 is going to be f of 3. plus f of 4 divided by 2 times delta x. And then, let's see, I'm running out of colors. This is trapezoid 4 right over here. So plus f of 4 plus f of 5, all of that over 2 times delta x. And then we have our last trapezoid, which I will do in yellow. So this is trapezoid number 5. Let me scroll down a little bit, get some more real estate. So it's going to be plus, I'll just write the plus over here, plus f of 5 plus f of 6 over 2 times our delta x. So let's see how we can simplify this a little bit. All of these terms, we have a 1 half delta x. So let's actually factor that out. So remember, this is our approximation of our area. So area. Area is approximately. Remember, this is just a rough approximation. It's very clear, actually. You might say this is pretty good using the trapezoids. But there are, there, it is pretty clear that we are letting go of some of the area. We're letting go of that area. We're letting go of some of this right over here. You can barely see it. Some of this right over here, you can barely see it. But we are, this is going to be, it looks like an underestimate. But it is a decent approximation. But let's see if we can simplify this expression. So it's approximately going to be equal to, I'm going to factor out a delta x over 2. I'm going to factor out a delta x over 2. And then what I'm left with, and I will switch to a neutral color, if I factor out a delta x over 2, then I have just an f of 1, f of 1. 
And then I have two f of twos, so plus two times f of two. And I'm doing this because you might see a formula that looks something like this in your calculus book, and it's not some mysterious thing. They just really summed up the areas of the trapezoids. And then we're going to have two f of threes, plus two times f of threes, plus we're going to have two f of fours, plus two times f of four, and then we're going to have two f of fives, plus two times f of five. And then finally, we're going to have one f of six plus f of six. If you were to generalize it, you have one of the first endpoint, the function evaluated at the first endpoint, one of it at the very last endpoint, and then two of all of the rest of them. But this is just the area of trapezoids. I'm not actually a big fan when textbooks write this because you don't. When you see this, it's hard to visualize the trapezoids. When you see this, it's much clearer how how you might visualize that. But with that out of the way, let's actually evaluate this. Lucky for us, the math is simple. Our delta x is just one. Our delta x is just one, and then we just have to evaluate all of this business. F of one. Let's just remind ourselves what our original function was. Our original function was the square root of x minus one. Square root of x minus one. So f of one is the square root of one minus one. So that is just going to be zero. This is this expression right over here is going to be. Two times the square root of two minus one. The square root of two minus one is just one, so this is just going to be two. Actually, let me do it in that same. Well, I'm now using the purple for a different purpose than just the first trapezoid. Hopefully, you realize that I was just sticking with that pen color. Then f of three. Three minus one is two. Square root of two. So the function evaluated at three is the square root of two. So this is going to be two times the square root of two. Then the function evaluated at four. When you evaluate at four, you get the square root of three. So this is going to be two times the square root of three, and then you get two times the square root of four. Five minus one is four. Two times the square root of four is just four, and then finally you get f of six is square root of six minus one is the square root of five. Square root of five, and I think we are now ready to evaluate. So let me get my handy TI eighty five out. And calculate this. So it's going to be well. I'm just going to calculate. Well, I'll just multiply it. So 0.5 times open parentheses was well, a zero. I'll just write it just to you know what I'm doing. Zero plus two. Pl whoops, lost my calculator. Plus two times the square root of two. Plus two times the square root of three. Plus four. Plus four. I'm almost done. Plus, plus the square root of five. So let me write that. Plus the square root of five gives me. Now we are ready for our drum roll. It gives me, and I'll just round it, seven point two six. So the area is approximately equal to, approximately equal to seven point two six under the curve, under the curve. Y is equal to the square root of x minus one between x equals one and x equals six, and we did this using trapezoids.